know, man. Anyways, let's get started on the day, boys. So, intermittent fasting 2018 is going to be started right now. So, just straight up. Well, I mean, I've been trying to intermittent fast forever. But anyways, black coffee is the only thing that won't get the digestive system going. And water, obviously. So, we're doing that. We got a lot to get through today, dudes. Um, lots of FIFA stuff to get through, but a lot of like real world football stuff to get through as well, dudes. Uh, Berwin to Spurs, done. Bruno Fernandes to United, done. Future stars, as you guys saw, I guess, yesterday too, but future stars is this Friday, man. Let's go, dude. I'm really excited, bro. If I can get a left back Alfonso Davies, man, oh my god am i gonna be excited so we've got that going on we've got project future stars going on today we're gonna go very heavy with project future stars uh we got a brand new team of the week released as well by ea we've got 11 packs ready for um future stars as of right now i would assume by the end of today we'll probably have maybe 30 40 50 packs because reason being is we've cycled through all the main leagues so far every single one of them so that we're ready to go again so today we're gonna go through um maybe not la liga because we did la liga twice literally in the last like four or five days but we will be going through the prem again the Serie A again league again and today we're gonna finish off the bundesliga and then go through the bundesliga all over again so that's gonna be the the league sbc grind that we're doing today again whether or not you guys see that on the whatever dude rtg i'm not entirely sure but it's all in the build up for um project future stars which should be fun i'm actually debating whether or not we we spend a good chunk of time going through and doing like silver packs too because a lot of the um the young players come as silvers right as base you have a really good chance of hitting them uh from silver packs nevertheless we also have the uh the orsich that we're working on chipping away at right now so we did last night while i was playing fortnite with nep i actually logged in like the nerd that i am and just started to kick these games off and played them as me and nep were playing um fortnite together on stream so we got this portion done nothing special with a two-player pack but hey you never know right if your luck is in your luck is in uh number two we're at six out of eight for these score uh goals with four star weak footed players so we'll try to finish that up today uh four assists with crosses i need to work on that so really got to remember to try and send in crosses especially when i'm winning like by one or two nothing change up my style of play because i'm a very possession based player i attack through the middle way too much it ends up being very predictable so once i can get one or two goals then we start breaking down the wing and r1 uh squaring it across goal for hopefully tap-ins i should have the players to be able to score those tap-ins um we're three out of five for the croatian players in division rivals which then subsequently of course means we're three out of five for division rivals wins in division four and above uh as well so we're doing very very well there for the 50k pack as always for future stars and then all at the same time we're also working on this series uh
shown their hand, their scummy hand. And of course, Neymar deserving to be in the team of the week didn't get in. Why is that? Well, Future Stars is coming out this Friday. Doesn't make sense for them to have a crazy good team of the week with a crazy good Neymar in there, which benefits all of us that have his headliner card or people that played weekend league to get the red Neymar again as a chance to sell packs, to build the hype. They don't need that because Future Stars is this Friday. So what do they do? They they, they drop them out. And then at a later date, when, when maybe there isn't so many things going on for a promo, they'll be able to pop them into packs, even probably for him scoring one or two goals or something like that. Um, again, so that they can sell packs on a week where there isn't such a big promo. So unfortunately, the nature of the beast is that, and we got a still good team. If you consider it the way I'm trying to consider things on the whatever dude road to glory, where is I want to have the best possible first owner as good as I can first owner, a cool first owner Serie A team and a first owner Bundesliga team and stuff like that, right? Because I have this type of account now we can really spread our wings and have some fun and try out some new players right maybe i don't even sub out alexis sanchez for these final games and just see if he's even a usable uh card in fifa so for the Serie A team like getting a donnarumma an 87 donnarumma would be fantastic man that lorenzo insigne absolutely amazing card um as a red player pick right so i'd be happy with all of that that illicit uh, his headliner card is getting an upgrade, so that's nice. But again, not as sexy. Playa getting a headliner upgrade. Again, not as sexy, but still, still getting those upgrades. Goretzka for a Bundesliga team would be fantastic. And that Ricardo Perea, what a player and what a season he's having, man. Oh my God. So again, we got his 84 rated in form. So here's hoping we can get his 86 rated um, red card as well to get a little bit of luck. So I don't find it terrible. Now, I understand it's not as sexy as everybody wants, but it's still all right it's still usable it's still decent and then finally the thing i wanted to talk about before we just got into the gameplay and the grinding and stuff like that are the transfers man like this january transfer window and that leads game man i i think you guys would have seen um uh i think you guys would have seen well i've completely lost train of thought what i was trying to say here um oh the the rea my reactions to leads and and everything that happened um in the game yesterday but bro what a game man i'd love to see as of course we didn't get it anyways but i i'd love to see leads players starting to get more and more special cards selfishly that would be really nice but leads i would say had one of the best transfer windows like really really good first of all second of all though man united that's done is it done now bruno that's a done deal that is huge i honestly that is that is huge I'm sure they must have spent um, an absolute fortune, but that that is big. As much as I want to hate on United and troll them as much as I can and annoy their fans as much as I can, um, but that is so big, dude. And the fact that they didn't pay... Well, did they, did they still go? Wow. 55 mil plus bonuses. I thought they managed to get like 42, 43 mil out of it. Around 80 mil? Okay, so we don't know what the actual amount is just yet. Nevertheless, very good signing. Berwin, the Dutch beauty, going to Spurs. I think that's going to be very good for Spurs. Very good dynamic, very good player. Um, that's a great signing. So a lot of things going on right now, man, um, for the January transfer window. And we're coming up on what? Deadline day is Friday? Ooh, deadline day is Friday. So we could have some fun with that in between weekend league games. Focusing on deadline day could be really, really fun. Oh, God, Itani, the batch, resubbing for 49 months why do i even sub knowing giveaways are rigged i haven't even done the 350 dollars giveaway for team of the year tani i can't even rig them when i keep forgetting to do them i said for the for the start of the month though like february 1st i want to do um or maybe to celebrate future stars we jack up the giveaway because we haven't done it yet maybe we do like a 500 hundred dollar giveaway to everybody involved in celebration of future stars dropping because we did a lot of giveaways for team of the year um or during team of the year but this would be like the end of the team of the year rolled into the next promo that I'm the favorite of. So we will do that. Don't let me forget. Mods, it's on you guys. Remind me uh, for the launch of Future Stars. We'll get that $500 giveaway rolling for the chat. Non-subs and subs alike. So we got a busy day of FIFA. Let's get into it, boys. I think the first thing I want to do, because I want to drink my coffee and warm up a little bit, is just get into some of these uh, League SBC crafting and see how far away we are from uh, building up the League SBCs. I've spent a good 100 or 150k on completing a lot of these league SBCs because as you know I don't really do the bronze pack and silver upgrade method on this account but I'm thinking that might change let's get into it it's funny that since Man United were interested in wait funny since 
Barcelona were interested in Bruno. Man United jumped in and made a push. Dude, do you understand? Okay, I'm sorry, Man United fans. I'm going to rip into your uh, plebeian club again. Do you understand how scummy they are with stuff like that? It's like they don't use their own scouts. And they just see who's looking at what and then try and jump in. They did that with um, James. Leeds had a done deal with Swansea and United snuck in like the little snake rats that they are and stole them from under us. You can literally go watch a documentary about it. Then, did you did you guys read the news reports? When Leeds started making the approach for Augustin, um, uh, Man United approached him and offered him money and he turned it down because he was too far along with Leeds and wanted to go to Leeds at that point. Victor Orta, our, our, our big dog, went over there and, and, and got the deal over the line. They tried to take goddamn Augustin from us, dude. And now, same thing. Barca, a bunch of different teams are interested in Bruno, so they jump in and try and take him away. It's impressive. I think the Bruno thing, like the chat are saying, maybe they were first to that, but dude, it's it's weird that they just seem to be the type of team that just wants to constantly jump in. Um, wait, do I not have a center mid to cam? That's a problem. United want Bruno for last summer. Well, anyways, fuck you guys. You guys try to take all the Leeds players. I just find it interesting when someone was bringing up Barca and Bruno. Point still stands, chat. Okay? Oh, yeah! Dude, I forgot about hey, this. We completed him yesterday, didn't we? Yo, Charles, thank you for the three gifted subs, man. Oh, I forgot about this. Too busy ripping into Man United and saying dad jokes. Um, We were trying to figure out who we needed the most out of first owner. And it did end up being, um, I don't need a mid. Now, Meyer looks all right. I don't need a mid, so I think we're going to go with Foyth. Now, obviously, I do have Team of the Year Virgil van Dijk, but, like, let's say we need, again, nine first owner players or whatever. Uh, yes, he's got some really good stats. When you look on the base card stats, medium high work rate, 6'2", is actually really good. Um, but then some of his in-game stats are horrifying, dude. 64 composure, like, what even is that? I don't, like... Did they just keep that like that to just say, oh, well, he's not part of the meta. Screw you guys. Other than that, though, with an anchor, he seems like he'd be pretty good. 64 composures, he's basically going to give off rebounds all over the place. Yeah, so he could be frustrating, but he screams when someone's near him and runs away. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, based off of what the club needs as a first owner player right now, we're going to go with Foyth. He is, uh, he is the missing link. I'll show you guys real quick, too, just while we're, uh, we're finishing up the Bundesliga. Um, I'll show you guys what it's looking like in terms of the first owner prem setup, which I think is looking actually very good. We need to get that Sane though. We got to craft that Sane. So I think for future stars, maybe that's the next crafting uh, Sane or, well, I don't know. Sane, depending on how the, the time goes, is someone we'll, we'll, we'll definitely get. But where is it? Best of Premier League. Here we go. Right? So Virgil, unbelievably, will go on the bench. Uh, I still think De Gea will probably go in there for Pope. You know what? I kind of forgot that I had De Gea. I did. Do we keep Pope? What is he, like 12K? Eh, let's just keep Pope for now. You know, make it, uh, make it slightly more original, I suppose. And we'll do that. 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 And we'll do this. Yes, I know. I'm insane. I apologize. I apologize for my transgressions. I am an insano. Um, you know what? For the time being, let's go with Gerard de la Feu. De la Feu. Whatever, dude. Oh, wait. Whoops. There it is. There it is. There it is. So that's a pretty clean 4-2-3-1 setup. With, uh, what's his face? Dude, I think I, like, pinched my back, guys. On the step machine? Maybe I wasn't, like, focusing and I, like, was tweaking because I was getting tired and I was just, like, flailing around like an idiot. Anyways, um, 4 2 3 one setup. I'll show you guys what this is going to look like. I feel like the icon swaps for Friday are going to involve Premier League first owner players. You know how EA are relatively unoriginal when it comes to stuff like that. Or it'll be, like, Nations. Um, custom tactics. Here it is. And then we'll go here. So as always, uh, I'm doing, I'm, I'm testing out pressure on heavy touch. I don't know if I like it really yet. Balanced players in the box. That's all like, so 
and we switch over to formation as always four two three one so for the time being hyung min will be a left cam um Dilafo will be a right cam Madison will be our central cam. I really wish I got Madison's headliner card. And then Sissoko and G. Bamman with David Luiz and Foyth and Bellerin. So that's a full 11 first owner team. That's not bad. Oh, actually. And then um, let me just pop the instructions real quick. You guys can see me do the instructions too. So stay central. Um, he can kind of hover there. Hover there as well. Conservative interceptions. Stay central. Um, conservative. Keep all that the same. Um, conservative. Get into the box for crosses. I'm actually not going to go free roam anymore on my wide players because it's, as you would expect, it just sends them in the craziest areas. And you just, I'll be playing up the field and be like, dude, where's my Messi? And he's on free roam. So he's at like left striker. And I'm like, bro, what? Like, no, nah, I got to change it. I got to change it. There we go. So he stays back. He attacks. And then the only other thing I do is stay back, but then overlap. So that kind of gives you a very balanced wing back where they don't push up too, too much. But when they do, they overlap the attackers on the wing. So you get that width um, within the attack in 4 2 three, one, especially if you're someone that holds possession. I think it's a good bit of um, instructions to put on your players. So anyways, that's the... That's the Prem squad now that we got fourth in the team. I wonder what the, honestly, what the Bundesliga team's looking like right now. Because we're completing the Bundesliga. We're going to have to make a decision on who we get. Yeah, the Bundesliga is not, not a great setup. However, it did improve by a little. There he is. There's the boy. So we got our striker in Mr. Halland. There he is. We got our wing back as well, which is very good. Uh, oh no, I forgot I had Roussillon. Dude... Ay, Dios mío. So what do I do with Alaba? Um, Boatang is a good CB to have. Coman could be a good attacker. We got Neuer. Hmm. Would you... Would you do that? He could be a good left DM too. Right? Like right cam, left cam, central cam, striker... Maybe left DM. Would he be a good CB too, you guys think? What's his height? Oh, he's got medium, medium work rates. 5'11". He'd actually not be bad. Anchor for sure. Boost up all those physical stats and defensive stats. It's what Byron does? Yeah, Alfonso Davies is out on the left now. Love that. Love that. So, in terms of the players... What do I... I guess the two Bundesliga players aren't really useful, right? I'll just go with the 84 rated Dutch player, Boetius or whatever. Yeah. We don't really have that many great options, unfortunately. Alright, whatever. No big deal. We'll work on it. It's good to know that we do need some Bundesliga-like mids. I don't have a DM. That Futmus Witzel, man. I'm pretty regretful that I didn't do that. He, he's like... For a Bundesliga first owner team, that Futmus Witzel is an endgame player. You can use him all year and he'll be fantastic. And what was he? Remember when I was like, oh my god, I can't believe they made him so expensive. He's like 40k. Little did I know, or 50k or something. Little did I know how stupidly overpriced EA were going to make pretty much every single SBC from then onwards. He was, it turns out, unbelievably, that that Futmus Witzel was a good deal. They're never, this guy's just got a regular squad. Oh god. This is gonna be sweaty. Oh yeah, this is actually sweat, okay. Oh my god though, good goal boys. DePaul, that low driven shot, first time. Yo, has that been, has that been patched? That's cool. It's not like I need a goal with a Croatian or anything. I'm fine. I'm fine. I, I'm not raging. I'm not angry right now. I'm disappointed. And AI blocks for days. It's fine. Should be winning that. Off go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's logical. Logic. Oh, the button delay makes me want to honestly jump into my rose bushes and try and eat the thorns raw. Yeah, I run off celebrating even though I skipped. It's fine. I'm fine, guys. I'm I'm fine. This is fine. I'm still pissed that a simple pass what led him to scoring too. 
That is f AIDS, bro. There's four defenders there. He just passes it into the middle. All my defenders do this. And then his Aubameyang runs in on And his Quincy promise. Bro, I can't, man. This game is dog. This game is dog, dude. Yes, man. This game sucks. I'm fine! Is that the second post of this game? Yeah! Am I mad? No! I'm not mad at all! This is great! Maybe nine months. Course, stream baby. Love the streams. Keep it up. That won't be a foul! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, what a sh Oh, nice. Casually being tackled from behind through my back as I fake shot past them. It's okay. Guys, it's normal to have that happen so you can get countered in the 90th. It's normal. You suck, dude. Let's go, boys. I'm so happy I beat this guy. Good stuff, boys. Four minutes of added time for three minutes. Love it. Not a single foul happened that game, but three minutes slash four minutes of added time. Good stuff. Thank God. Thank God, boys. I swear we hit the post two or three times that game too, didn't we? Ugh. <laughs> uh, do you guys ever just think that in your head? Ugh. Wait, it's 6 p.m. to Is it already 6 p.m.? Have we gotten content, dudes? Oh my god. Perfect timing into the 6 p.m. content, I suppose. Or is it non-tent? That is the real question. Did we get content or did we not? Now the good news is, let's just go confirm this. But I I, I got absolutely nothing done for uh the crosses but that part is done and we're one away from this one and which would of course mean we're one away from that one so that's sweet dudes a gold pack is pretty dead but whatever man you okay man did you guys hear stuff shrieking upstairs don't worry she's not dying she's just sneezing it's fine she'll be fine all right one more out of the you guys did hear her <laughs> dude i've got a noise gate and a sound suppressor on my microphone dude that's hilarious that you guys even heard that um okay well i guess there's nothing new in terms i mean it is a wednesday right we can't expect anything other than a, a team of the week okay hold on never mind no matter how silly they are with this card it's going to be sick because of the five-star weak foot. Okay. Don't hate me for this. I I think we're going to do this card no matter what. Bro, on a sniper, I don't think you need a better striker in the in for La Liga. For a La Liga first owner? Bro, you could give him an engine too if you really wanted to ball out. But I think a sniper... His pace is more than good enough for a striker as it is. This will be, in my opinion, and you guys might disagree because of he has four-star skills but and not as much pace, but this is, to me, in the striker position, the La Liga Perisic. Like, moments card or whatever it is. Seasons card. That is an incredibly good card, man. I'd give him an engine. I just don't think he really needs the pace. And why not take him to 99 everything for finishing? I kind of agree with you guys. Like his finishing and shooting is already really good. Shot power and long shots are all right too. But taking his composure to 94. Dude, this Jovic. I think we got to do him, boys. That kind of came out of nowhere. This is a cool card. You okay? Oh, okay. Now, the question is, of course, right? I may want to do him. How much is he? Dude, three squad. Do they realize that 84s and 85s are so expensive right now? Do these Burnaby dummies know how expensive these, 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 like, players are? Of course, dog prime mixed pack, a jumbo pack, and a premium mixed pack. Well, you guys did release a pretty cool card. I will give you that. But as always, you got to screw it up somehow, don't you?
they do they want to rinse coins before future stars yeah but like bro what is his value was he like 300k are they insane 300k for an untradeable card like what burnaby batches dude nah batches is like a term of endearment i'm not calling them that burnaby buffoons more like it silly man i'm irritated damn i kind of want to i don't know if i can recommend you guys do this bros for two to two is he 300k it's he looks like he's 300k dude 84s are like 6k right now man 7k 85s are like 12k bro minimum by the way now nah, this is more than 200k dudes this is more than 200k does it have an expiration yeah i think so five days i mean if you get rid of the 84 it's all right 150k ish for this guy terrible pack returns anyways i think 150k is fair but like to drag this well over 200k probably 250k dudes for those of you guys saying nah this is only 50k it's a 75 rated squad man they know what they're doing the 75 rating means you have to overpay on certain 84s to get this to even work oh god well that's too bad you know what man even on a whatever dude account i can't even justify this i seriously can't first owner la liga let's go look at our first owner la liga let's go see what we're uh what the squad is looking like that's going to be the deciding factor bros let's see uh where is la liga there we go five four one why do i have a five four one that is why I have a 541. Okay. So we were planning on chipping away at Suarez. For sure, we will get Hazard. Now, in La Liga, we already have uh that league SBC reward player. What's his name? This guy. Right? Now, obviously, he's nowhere near the type of card that Jovic is. Do I even have a goalkeeper? Oof. Okay. David Soria. So we've got a uh, lefty M and Marcelo, left back, both our center backs, right back, central cam, wide right, wide left, um, uh, left cam. So I need a DM essentially. That's what we're missing right now. And unfortunately, I don't know that we'll really get much useful. I can go Carvalho, but a bit resident sleeper, isn't it? So I don't know. Do you guys think Jovic is, is, is worthwhile getting? This guy seems just as usable to me. Especially with a sniper. Like this dude on a sniper is actually a sick card, man. 95 agility, 99 balance, 85 composure, 97 dribbling, 86 ball control. Uh, I think 93 reactions, 99 finishing, 91 attack positioning. Like he's usable. Okay. Instead of a five-star weak foot, he's got a four-star weak foot. Got better work rates more pace that's mad that even on this account i'm like meh eh. even on a whatever dude account you know what i'm thinking for that jovich because they just made it too expensive is whatever dude if he was like 100 250k i would then say whatever dude let's do him but just out of principle man just out of principle is there anything in the loading screen run the fuck market so mad at ea right now i love it I don't know if there's anything in the loading screen. We can go check real quick too. Yeah, Zway's got the YouTube like episodias, right? For me, you guys are going to get my thoughts on him. So obviously he's going to be part of the title, new team of the week, road to the final. No, not really. I mean, the future stars, they, oh, 95 pace. Cool. Wow. I kind of like that they're, you know, they really know how to build the hype. You got to give it to EA, man. They really know how to build the hype for sure. 25 23 right in yeah, my face is blocking what are the 58.54 <laughs> 34 look at the top left of the screen 34.45 oh they're they're building the hype dudes they're definitely building up the hype martinelli you think dude if you burnaby bimbos i don't know that's all i got release a sick martinelli and if i click his card okay if i click martinelli's card all right if i click this right here and i see two star weak foot and two star skills i am going to burnaby and i'm i'm lighting my controller on fire in protest of your imbecility 
I don't know. Maybe that's a word. I'm not entirely sure. Um, seriously. Anyway, so for me, bros, this Jovic is very expensive. If you don't have, if you're looking for a first owner striker um, for La Liga, I think he's great. I do. I hate to admit it. I think this is actually a really, really, really good card. That five-star weak foot, three-star skills. You can do drag backs, ball rolls, fake shot stops. So you're good to go. In a striker role, that five-star weak foot is so clutch. So in terms of the card himself and the upgrade he's received, this is a sick card. And you know his dynamic image is going to be awesome. I would personally still put a sniper on him. I just think you want him to be the best striker he can be. 85 sprint speed and 83 acceleration is fantastic. Heading, strength, jumping is all great. Who cares about his passing? He's got good curve anyways. Okay, short passing. You really want to work on that dribbling and finishing. And with a sniper, that is a lights out card. That is a lights out card. Maybe the medium, medium work rates. And obviously the three star skills is, is the two downsides to his card. But outside of that, I think he's good. But for 200 to 250K, I can't tell you guys that this is a card you should say, whatever, dude, and just go do them. Like, if you need them, if you're a fan, you know, I, I, it, surely if you're building a Serbian team or you're Serbian yourself and you've got a little bit of attachment to them, but yeah, hell yeah. There's a lot of reasons to go get them. But if you've got an account like mine or you're running a poor man road to glory, a first owner road to glory, or a pack only road to glory, I guess there's you're not even part of the conversation, but... I just, I'm struggling to see where dumping 200 to 250K untradeable two days before Future Stars comes out is really worthwhile. Now, crafting him over time by grinding the game, silver packs, upgrade packs, getting two player packs, getting the, you know, the, the high rated players to put into the whatever using red players. Sure, you, crafting him is another argument altogether, but he'll be around the 200K. Bro, that's, that's a chunk of change, man. That's a chunk of change. As long as you're not running a first owner road to glory, what does 200K buy you right now from La Liga? That's something that genuinely, I know it's boring when you hear me talk about this, but a lot of you guys thought, now that I'm running a whatever dude account, a lot of you guys used to call, were, were calling me out on this thing. Oh, cool. Now Nick's just going to do everything and have every player ever. No. You, you can take the poor man road to glory series away from me, but you can't take the man out of the poor man road to glory mentality. And I would say it's a waste. I would say it's a waste. You can, for God's sakes, you can buy Eden Hazard for that, man. Griezmann for that. Although I don't think, I think, I actually think as a usable striker, this guy's better than Griezmann in my opinion. But Dembele, Suarez, like, bro. And then guess what? When you're bored of the cards... You can sell them on. When you're bored of this card, well, too bad. Put more money into the game. Get yourself more more coins via doing that. Or put another 12 hours of grinding into the gameplay to get yourself the coins back. Like, to inform De Jong's. So, that's my thoughts on it, man. Is it a cool card? Hell yeah, it really is a cool card. Um, this card, I thought was a terrible card, but a nice price. Right, and I think it's terrible because of the three star, four star, medium, medium type of thing. Um, I think this is a fantastic card, mainly because of the five star weak foot. Medium, medium, still a little bit crap, um, but it's the price. It's too bad. Wait, did they just do another new? Wait, 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 wait. Forget talking about Bamford for a second. Did they update this screen again? Wait, didn't Jao Felix? Wait, people are saying Jao Felix. Oh, well, that is absolutely Jao Felix, dude. Oh, my God. Look at that. Future stars Jao Felix, 100%. Oh, my God. What a card, dude. What a card already that's going to be. <laughs> EA, please make this a good event. I beg you. Oh, I'm ready for that one. That card's going to be, yeah, it's going to be like a 3 million coin card. Oh, God, I love it. Okay. This man's doing... Wait. He's not doing the Bundesliga. What, are, what even is this? Is he trying to score with Bundesliga and French players, maybe? What a team, man. What is that? Is Prem players part of the swaps? I just, no worries. No worries. It's fine. Love getting body checked out of the way. Uh, 
how like what even is that pass i do, i'm i'm in shock as to what i'm even f witnessing here dude oh okay how does he make that pass exactly dude dude it's a pen what i should do it i should do it this guy and thinking he's stream sniping and playing a fair game of fifa go f yourself dude go f yourself you f idiot f out of here f dog sh game i'm done this game for the day f this game and every stream sniping tw that comes up against me i'm done i'm not playing this game the rest of the day f this game absolute dog sh nope i don't give a f if i need one more win for rivals i'm out I'm out, man. I'm out, dude. I can't even play this game normally, dude. It's just endless stream sniping. They all need their 15 minutes of fame. Like, off. Meanwhile, when I use my main team, you guys are nowhere to be found, right? Off, man. This game sucks today. Actually, this game has been absolute dog shit since the latest patch. Like, it's just unbelievable how bad they can make this game consistently. And every patch consistently make the game worse. How do you constantly buff AI RNG gameplay? Yet all of the skill rate, all of the manual defending, all of the attacking, all of everything, you make it harder and harder and harder to play this game. The only thing you constantly buff is goddamn AI defending and drop back one depth dog. You suck EA. You're absolute morons and guess what i'll be back tomorrow because i'm a hypocrite hypocrite that's why i'm a idiot dude